The 757-200 Special Freighter is a conversion of former passenger carrying 757-200s. This involves the installation of freight equipment as is also used on the 757-200PF, that's standing for Production Freighter, with a port side freight door. There are various companies do these conversions. Boeing itself does them at Wichita in Kansas. IAI does them in Israel and ST Aerospace Services in Singapore. The aircraft now just positioning out to the uh, northwest, lowering the gear, putting the flap down to the 30 degree position, slowing the speed to 150 knots for a 100 foot dirty fly past and then into a dirty 360 degree turn. The US operates four 757s as C32As in the VIP transport configuration including duties such as the personal transport of the Vice President where it flies as Air Force Two. There are several other military operators of the 757, the air arms of Argentina and Mexico, the Royal New Zealand Air Force of course, we've seen their 757s at Riyadh several times, and the Saudi VIP flight. And unlike as it may sound, the 757 had a role to play in the development of the F-22 Raptor. The very first 757 built was used in the late 1990s as a flying test bed for the avionics used on the Raptor that involved a canard wing being fitted above the cockpit with the fuselage becoming a 30-seat flying laboratory. 30 degrees of flap on now for the crew of the DHL 757. They're entering at about 150 knots and 100 feet, and when they get to display centre, it'll be into the dirty 360 that Spiv mentioned, flaps then to 20 degrees, raising the gear and sustaining a 45 degree bank to the left. the uh, undercarriage housing opening up with the gear retracting as he continues round. He'll clean the aircraft up, keeping 20 degrees of flap initially until he comes all the way back round onto the display centre. You may recall from Riyadh, so the not too distant past, the 757s of the Royal New Zealand Air Force's number 40 squadron, who operate two in the combi role, flying both military cargo and operating as troop carriers. And one of those was over in the UK only the other week, taking in the Waddington Air Show during that deployment. But its main reason for coming over was to bring a party of Royal New Zealand Air Force Bomber Command veterans for the unveiling of the memorial in London's Green Park. The DHL 757, meanwhile, completing this 360 degree turn. The engines here are a pair of Rolls Royce RB211 turbofans. Engines you'll find on many of today's civil aircraft, including the Boeing 74757, having been developed for the Lockheed L1011 TriStar. The engine's design is some 45 years old now. And it's always impressive to see an aeroplane such as this being displayed with relatively low fuel. Of course, no cargo on board and a small crew, so the light weight of the aeroplane really affording it an excellent performance on display. Again, once they get past display centre, the crew will be positioning away from the A-axis on the 45 degree line, climbing to 1,000 feet, and then making a left turn through 225 degrees to come back onto the A-axis for their next fly past. impressed to see uh, a large aircraft as this uh, close up and, and low down